no. That's right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? <coughs> we have some stunning news for the PlayStation 5. This is on the internet all of yesterday. I haven't had time to talk about it. But there's another tidbit that many haven't been talking about as well. And I'm going to give you my perspective on it. God of War Ragnarok has one been delayed and two... First, give the video a thumbs up. Like, come on, man. It's been delayed to 2022. This trailer said 2021. Delayed to 2022. And it's going to be cross-generational. Meaning it's coming to the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. My thoughts. Now, I tweeted out on Twitter. <laughs> There's a huge semiconductor shortage and Sony cannot get PlayStation 5s out to c customers like they want. They're still not able to meet the demand. PlayStation 5s, every time they go live, they're selling out in a matter of seconds. They're not able to go out to um, c consumers. So with them not being able to build the user base like they want to, it makes sense to make sure the game comes out on PlayStation 5. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the game will still look... I have confidence in, in um, Sony's developers. After what they showed with Horizon Forbidden West, God of War Ragnarok Rock is also going to look phenomenal on the PlayStation 5. But PlayStation 4 sold over 116 million consoles. And they don't want to leave all of that money off the table and so i think sony is looking at the situation like it's going to be a win-win we're still going to support the playstation 5 <coughs> make sure the game is optimized looks good runs good on the system and still cash in on the playstation 4 user base because we're in a constraint right now who knows maybe they wanted to start having all of these big games on the playstation 5 force you to have to buy a playstation 5 but they're like Ross Council is selling out regardless because we're limited in what we can um, distribute to consumers. And so we don't have the install base like we want because of the, the limitations. Let's put it on both platforms. But not only Grand Tur I mean God of War. I just said it. <laughs> Gran Turismo 7 will also be cross-gen coming out on the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. And once again, same rationale. Same rationale. Now, this game looked stunning, looked amazing uh, running on the PlayStation 5 back in June. This is another game where I think they're just delaying it a little bit just to polish it up. That if they really wanted to, <coughs> it could have released in 2021. But they're like, again, the install base. We can't get it out on the um, PS5 like we want to. But we can't get the consoles in the hand of consumers like we want to. Let's delay it, um, adjust it for the PlayStation 4, scale it back a little bit so it can also run in the PlayStation 4 and release it on both platforms. I know dudes might be worried, and I'm I'm of that um, that that part of the internet that's like, hey, I got a next gen console. I want my games to be built from the ground up optimize and only come out on the PlayStation 5. If you couldn't get a PlayStation 5, so what? That's my <coughs> that's how I'd be like, bro. I want I want just PlayStation 5 games. I don't even keep PlayStation 4 games on my console, bro. The only PlayStation 4 game I keep on my console is Street Fighter 5 cuz that's the best fighting game out right now. But cross generational. Here's my thing though. This is why I'm not tripping too much. Sony they gave us Ghost of Tsushima on the PlayStation 4. This game 
looked like a next gen game on current gen hardware. Sony gave us Last of Us 2. <coughs> this game just blew everything out of the water, bro. The game looked phenomenal. And this was on last gen hardware. Look at this, bro. This is gameplay. You think that this is a CGI? Well, this is CGI. No, that is, that is, that is CGI. But <laughs> the game looks the game looks phenomenal. If you see it right actually playing, where is it? Where does it show gameplay? Can they show gameplay? Uh, this is just all CGI. But if you play Last of Us 2, you know what I'm talking about. The game looked phenomenal. So I have confidence. Both God of War and Gran Turismo will look, will look good. But it is what it is, bro. All right. Bro, last news item. Switch Pro should be, should be revealed today. Today or tomorrow. Either way, keep it locked. We'll see what Nintendo does. Um, or it could be next week. It'll still be before E3 if they do it next week. So, um, Switch Pro, we'll have to see when it's going to be revealed. Um, have your notifications on because when it's revealed, I got you guys covered. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.